Well, we're coming off a, a tough loss last week to Gustavus, a game that uh, I think looking back on it, we, uh, we, we probably let that one slip away from us. We jumped out to an early lead and had an opportunity to go up by a couple of touchdowns and, and uh, didn't get it done on the goal line. But, um, you know, there were some good things in the game. Uh, I thought our defense played very, very well. They, we held their uh, good running back to under 100 yards, which uh, it only happened once so far this year. And uh, we did some good things offensively also, just didn't play a complete game on both sides of the ball. So uh, disappointing game, but, uh, you know, we can't, uh, can't do anything about it. We can't look back. We have to look forward, and our next game is uh, coming up tomorrow. We uh, uh, play a, a much improved um, Hamlin squad. Uh, they have a new coach, uh, Chad Rogoszewski, who is, you can see he's done some uh, really good things with that football team. Uh, they do have a leading rusher in the, in the conference, Austin Duncan, and we know that uh, – He's going to carry the ball probably between 30 to 40 times a game. And uh, for us to win the football game, we're going to have to stop their running game. And then we need to be opportunistic on offense when we get opportunities to score, especially in the red zone. We have to do that. And that's kind of been our focus this week in practice. Uh, and um, our kids are, are, you know, they're, they're ready to go. We've got uh, two games left. And, uh, you know, we know we've got to win both of them to have any shot at uh, being considered for the playoffs. Uh, Right now, we're, uh, the regional rankings are out. We're ranked 10th in the West. Uh, we need to move up, and uh, in order to do that, we've got to win uh, tomorrow and then uh, win the following week. So tomorrow's a huge game for us, uh, a home game. It seems like we haven't been home for a long time. So our guys are looking forward to getting back out to Clemens Stadium. Hope everybody can come out and keep the rain away tomorrow. So we're looking forward to get back out there against the Hamlin Pipers. Uh, they have an interesting defense. There's no real way to tell what they're going to do. They've done different things each game. Um, they go back and forth between an odd and an even front. There aren't that many teams that do that. So we have a, uh, a challenge there where we think we got to make sure we're doing our things really well. Have some things to shore up from last week. A disappointing loss to Gustavus, but uh, that's why we're champing at the bit to get back out there. I think our guys will, uh, will respond to the call. This is a big game for us. We've got to play well against Hamlin. St. John's University traveled last week to St. Peter, Minnesota to face Gustavus Adolphus College, a, a game that we knew would be a, a, a tough battle, and uh, unfortunately we ended up on the short end of a double overtime loss, 23-20. Um, to 20. Uh, Overtime in college football basically turns into a field goal game, and even if you don't give up many yards, teams are in, in field goal range, and unfortunately we, uh, we came up short on ours in the, in the second overtime, and they... They hit theirs to, to win it, but defensively we we did a, a pretty good job all day long. Uh, I think in the first half they only had four first downs. Uh, they didn't end up with a whole lot more than that the rest of the day. They had a couple drives and that was about all. So we held their leading rusher about 90 yards underneath his season average, and I think uh, their team about 115 or 20 yards under their season average. So for the most part we played pretty solid. They gave up a, a couple plays. Uh, that and one of their touchdown drives, one of the, about a 46-yard pass play. Uh, other than that, uh, we kept them pretty much in check, and we did have two more interceptions, but played the run awfully well as, as for the most part. And uh, obviously, both sides of the football, we were disappointed not coming away with a victory. Um, it would have put us in great position going into these last two games, uh, getting ready and getting a chance to make a playoff run, which gets to our next home game. We our last two games are at home uh, with Saturday's game. <clears throat> going against Hamlin University, uh, a, a team that has uh, the leading rusher in the conference. So defensively, that's kind of our focus. We have to make sure that um, he doesn't uh, hang on to the football too much. I think he's having about 245 or 50 carries on the year with only one fumble. So we have to make sure that we contain their running attack. And uh, that's the key for them because if they do pass a little bit off of that. Uh, they're mostly a run team, but we have to make sure that we can control that running game, and that Duncan's about 220 pounds as well, so he's not a little running back either. So he can kind of pound at you and north-south uh, kind of running style, and we've got to be aggressive and, and, and play our positions and, and wrap up and tackle the best we can. Uh, with that, uh, a, a win is really crucial for us at this time if we are still looking at our playoff hopes. But the um, biggest thing we can do is just go old cliches, play one down at a time, and and come away with a win against Hamlin here on Saturday.